welcome to the program. My name is Catherine Mwangi. This is What's Your Story. We're here at the Exchange Bar at the Stanley Hotel. As you can see, there's a different way of sitting. You've been used to me just hugging seats. I just learned what it's called, but when you know who my guests are today, then you will learn why we're all sitting in a very sophisticated, distinguished manner. <laughs> But forget about it. I'm sure before the show ends, I'll be back to however I'm used to sitting. We have the privilege today in celebration of Women's Month, hosting Mother Daughter. We know her as a business mag magnate in this city, not just in Nairobi, but also across the region. She is tough when it comes to meeting her objectives, especially taking products to people in the market. She is the chairman and I think CEO of Top Image. I said I think because I think now her daughter is running it, if I'm not wrong, but we'll get to know that. Jennifer Barassa is no stranger to us here in Kenya. Award winning, over a decade winning awards in business. And it's no surprise to me because when you get to learn her story, she started with 30 shillings. Okay, so that if you have no other reason to tune in, then that's one for you to just get to know how she did that. And her daughter, we know her as a supermodel, back when modeling meant something in this country. Mm -hmm. So we used to see her. Today I get to see her face to face. It's my first time. You can't just help but look at her. I said to them they look alike, but they think, no, no, no. Her <laughs> Mother said something. <laughs> Mother said, no, she's not as ugly as the daughter, but no. <laughs> That's a joke. Of course, it's a joke. <laughs> you all have your own personal jokes going on, but so much welcome to this program. Jennifer Bidanya, very much welcome. Thank you for having us. And before the show, you said to me you're turning 70 this year. Oh, yes. How do you look stop. like this? It's how? What is this you've been doing to yourself? Bidanya, what are your mom's secrets? They are my secrets. Oh, they're yours. They are my secrets. <laughs> <laughs> and mother rolled her eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Who's teaching who? Who's teaching who? <laughs> Who's teaching who? Uh -huh. Who found the other here? <laughs> you look spectacular. Thank you. And Thank your you. style, I mean, your bling, eh? still ongoing. I mean, man. <laughs> Was she your inspiration to get into modeling? She must have been. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she came for a teacher's meeting, and one of the teachers said, Oh, the jacket is so beautiful, you probably should get into modeling. Yeah. And mom took it as a negative. Oh, insult. An insult and a negative. But when she went and spoke to her friends, her friends said, Actually, that is a compliment. They say that your daughter is beautiful, and maybe she can try a modeling. Yeah. So when I was taking a break for getting into uni, uh, mom, I was, I think, doing computers, and I started doing computers for about a week, and I told mom, I'm so bored. This is not. Uh, uh I need to do something and then she's like, Why don't you try about this school? Oh. And uh, she's the one who actually motivated me and pushed me to go to modern school because I remember watching fashion then and telling her, Mom, you actually want me to go and start walking with this dress like this and I was like, That's not me. Uh -huh. And I used to be a tomboy. So you a tomboy. You. Yes. I used yes, to have my too. baggy jeans, my baggy t shirts, you know, looking all brief wrap and everything else. And then in modeling, they tell you that you have to wear three inch high heels. Right. And I had never bought or never worn high heels in my life. So I go to mom's wardrobe and say, Mama, you know, I have to, they, they tell me that I have to audition with um, three inch heels. Uh -huh. Can I use your shoes? Right. Else? Yeah. So in the apartment, I would walk around <laughs> with the three yeah. inch shoes for the practice. And that's how we got into modeling. Because my issue was I'm 5'11. Yeah. And I wanted to wear heels. I'm yeah. Six yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. But with modeling, you need to wear the heels because it makes your walk graceful, you stand up, your back is straight, and, and all that. So I started wearing heels, and now I'm addicted to heels. My so goodness. Heels so you came around <laughs> to the modeling? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did, I did come around, yes. Right. My friends told me, actually, it's a compliment. Why don't you have a go to the school? Yes. And at that time, there was one school in, in, in I think, on Kilimani. In Kilimani. Yeah. And. Uh, scale modeling and I paid uh -huh. for her and after that she, she, she even developed confidence because um, she was not as confident as I would have wanted her to be because um, we are of different characters. I am more outgoing, I'm more forceful, I'm so aggressive. Bidania is calm, collected sometimes. I ask yeah. her, where did I get you from? 
Because me, I'm together. Maybe having grown up in East Lands. Me, I mean, I'm in Mutra East Land. No. Yeah. East Land, what? Yeah, Marish, Orich, Marish. Are you Maringo, serious? No, Maringo, yeah. Marish, or Oriongo. <laughs> hey. I didn't mm. know that about you. Yes, that's where I grew up from. I'm not a Bujua Bujua. I tell her she's the one who's Bujua Bujua. But now, mm. come and see. In fact, can you do your fingers like this? Look at how naked mine are. You asked to. I'm sorry. Like mother, like I'm daughter. Sorry. Yes, pure <laughs> gold. Hey, yes, I love gold. It cannot be cheaper. No. Why should it be? I don't wear silver. I only wear gold mm. and diamonds. But why <laughs> <do I> say <laughs> <laughs> Only the hair is silver. Uh, mm -hmm. I love it. You are Thank just you. so stylish. And Thank that's why you. when you told me you're turning 70 this year, I'm like, 70 for who? Who? How? 70. And I thank God. I yeah. thank God. Turning 70 is a milestone. Yes. Yeah. It's a huge one. And mm. I don't stress on life. Oh. Are you uh -huh. a good daughter? Would you say you're a good daughter? I'm a good daughter. No, she's good. Yeah? She's good. Bidanya has never answered back to me. She's oh. never shouted at me like other children. When I scold her, and sometimes it can be very difficult. What she does, she just goes and cries quietly. Oh. She's never. Mm. Yeah. But I thank God for that. That's she has a lot beautiful. of respect for me. But now we are friends. Not cry now. That was before. Before. Yes, mm. now I will tell you in a nice way that yeah. I'm, I'm not happy with this. Yes, and yeah. Mm. Talk it out. Mm. yeah. So, but yes, I would never disrespect Mama. Never answer I like back. how you call her Mama. Like, mm. I heard it even before the show. Like, I'm like, wow, I love how she says Mama. <laughs> mama? <laughs> this Mama, that? <laughs> but she, you'll be surprised. Yeah. When we walk into a boardroom, uh. and most of the time we go for meetings, she calls me Jennifer. The first time she joined the company, mm. she would call me Jennifer. I would get first of all shocked. Yeah. She's called me Jennifer because she's always Mama, Mama, Mama. Yes. Yes. She would call ah. me Jennifer. And I thought I needed to do that because we're working together and people need to see that we're professional at the end of the day. You know, and yes, she's my boss at the end of the day, CEO of NB. And when we go to those meetings, I can't stop calling me Mama. No, yes. She was very fast, professional. At first, she was shocked. Even people get shocked. Yeah. Say, That's your mom. I'm like, mm -mm. But outside the boardroom, yeah. outside the meeting, then it's mama. It's, oh, yeah. it's a meeting automatically, I think. Yeah. Uh -huh. When a pitch, when a meeting, mm. I'm called a Jennifer, I'm calling a Jennifer. No, no. Mm. The minute we're out, I'm like, mama, mama, yes. this is this, 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 yeah. this amazing. Yeah, I'd like to tell, come talk now, mom. What time to are you push <laughs> fully? Because when you go for this meeting, yes. people say, that it is what good cop and bad cop. She's a bad cop. cop and and the good she's a good cop. Ah. Yeah, so let me come out. <laughs> and the bad cop, she's a good cop. Yeah. Now you've unleashed the secret <laughs> now. <laughs> but Jennifer, man, you've uh, you your fire. Um, a bit of my character, perhaps. Um, up where I grew up in Eastland, you know, you have to fight for yourself. You know, there the, the, you know there when you finish um, at the end of the term, when I can wanted. <laughs> To some of you, don't something like that. I know. I grew so you up. You have to be tough. Yeah. You have to be tough. Mm. That's where it Not came like from. Midania. Oh yes, that's where it came from. I to fend for myself. Yeah. You are tough, but uh, in my ways. yeah, in your way. In your own way. Yeah. But mother is getting in that in that ring, yes. and she'll Ma not be the one you leave down there. Exactly. Uh -uh. No. In her eyes, with her voice. With her bring manners, it on. Like bring it on. on. A bullet. If she has to pull up her skills. The same. Like, hey. I'm the one who's like um. I'm the negotiator. I, I don't want conversation. But mm. you guys, can we talk about this? Do we need to bring someone in the room to discuss and we can have a solution? I'm like that. Yeah. Her, she's like, what? 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 I, mean, I, I want it now. Uh, I want my solution. I don't, no. take, it I don't take it. I don't care. You have to do this. Blah, blah, blah. I'm there. So and have, you, have you watched <laughs> And there are times people go talk to her. Bidanya, go talk to your mom to soften. So, yeah. Yeah. Hmm? So she's your antidote. Yes, she is. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So in the movie The Devil Wears Prada, have you watched it? Yes. Uh -huh. mm. So you are mm -hmm. you're that lady. Yes. yes. <laughs> Even yes. the hairdo is the same. No games. Yes. No but games. you started top image with 30 Bob. Oh yes. Uh oh uh, it's important for me to tell this story yes, and people please. to know mm. that um at first, I mean, I, I, I was um, a general manager for Sterling Health Tanzania. Okay. Things did not work out. So I was declared redundant. At that time, they were paying Vidanya school fees, and they paid for a whole year, okay. and so on. I left. Then now I got um, 
a job with McCann Erickson. Okay. I don't mind talking about an yes. advertising agency. There's a lot of politics mm -hmm. in there. Mm -hmm. And I'd seen opportunities there. So what I did, um, I left. And uh, what I needed is uh, I wrote handwritten notes because I didn't have a typewriter at home. I got my sister to type it. Then I went to the local bureau. Those days you were photocopying bureaus uh -huh. those days. And they typed for me and I made uh, about six copies because five shillings each. And I set, I set, I set. And I started knocking on people's door. Mostly the people I used to work with, I used to network with because I was in marketing. Uh -huh. and they had a lot of them used to tell me, Jennifer, you should just start business. You can start business. But I was not prepared to start my mm. business. So I started from the sitting room of my house. Because that's where I operated. And what I just needed was just that 30 bob only to go out and start hitting the streets of knocking on people's offices. When I set up the business, I, I wanted to be the best. Mm -hmm. And that's why I, had, I came up with the norm Top Image. Mm -hmm. And now Vidanya came on board and changed it to Top Image Africa. So I wanted ah. to be the top and so providing quality mm -hmm. work and very, very result oriented. Mm -hmm. And the results will speak for themselves. And if people go out even to do a market survey, they'll find out that actually this campaign was, was driven by Top Image. And they could see the self performing up, I mm. mean increasing sales. Yes. Yeah. We scale up people's business. Yes. I yeah. love mm. that. Mm. So you made it now into this Pan-African vision. Yes. Top Image Africa. But how did you move transition from uh, modeling so arts, fashion, lifestyle, into now this business corporate magnet after your mother's footsteps? Modeling for me was always part time. So ah. Education was very key for me. I remember when I was doing MFA in South Africa, uh -huh. they asked me, uh, what's going to happen to you? Are you still going to uh, go to school? I said, yes, um, this school for me is very important. I'm able to transfer my credits to New York. I've already spoken to the university and that was possible. So I've already done the background. I was like, I'm still going to model, but I still need to go to school. Yeah. So even after I graduated from university, I was still modeling. I went to the US to do my master's. I was also modeling part time. And uh, I remember telling mom that I definitely want to do my master's because in my mind, that was one of my educational paths mm -hmm. and one of my goals in life. I said, I really want to do my master's to be a master of um, marketing and also brand management. Okay. So, finished my master's. I was in the US for some time. I wasn't getting the jobs that I wanted. And I told myself, all my bills in the US, I need to come back home and build Kenya. Mm. Yes, I've got my education there, my experience, but I need to come back home and build. Because I was just studying in the US. Yeah. And things are very expensive. Yeah. So I told mom and uh, I decided to come back home. When I came back home, I joined Mama. Yeah. At that time. I worked there for about, I think, three months. Almost, like almost, almost six. Almost six, six. months. Okay. But during that time, I was looking for jobs elsewhere. Because in my head, I was like, I need to get experience elsewhere. As much as this is a beautiful outfit Mama has started, mm -hmm. I believe I'll get to more respect out of her. To listen to me more because mm. we go for meetings. I say things that you can't sit down because you look at me as if, oh, this is my daughter. This young child, what does, what she, does she know? I know. I've been in the yeah. business for her 15 years, you know. Uh, what is she telling me? Right. So I felt that I needed to go out and the respect mm. and then come back. So I got a job with uh, Macan Erickson. Ah, uh, her former employer. Her former, yes. And I remember telling my man she was not amusing and she was going to tell me. And her thoughts afterwards and how she changed her mindset whenever anyone leaves the company. So after my friend Erickson, uh, I stayed there again for six months and I got a job at Nestle. Nestle mm -hmm. was as brand management. Yes. I've always wanted to get into brand management and branding and marketing, so that was a great opportunity. After Nestle, I got a job as a marketing manager at Petrocar. Okay. And that also was amazing. I was doing strategy and marketing and management. And during that time, I was headhunted to run um, the whole of Africa in Mauritius. Mm -hmm. I took it. I didn't like the job there because it wasn't as for my job description. Right. And within two months, even before my probation, I told my mom, you know, I, I see myself not being here. Yeah. I'm being happy here. I had a lovely apartment by the beach, but I wasn't really experiencing or enjoying that life. Yes. You know, because most of the time I was working and I wasn't doing, 
I wasn't happy with what I was doing. Then Mama says, no, but don't you think she'll stay there for a year? I told her, no, Mama, already I'm not happy. So why should I explain to my unhappiness for a year? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I came back home. And uh, during that time also, there was another company that wanted me to, to help them uh, start a business here, which they already started. But I was like, you know what? These people want me to help them build a yeah, new business as a sales director. Why don't I think about building our empire? Why don't I mm. build someone's empire? Wow. But I prayed over it. Uh, it one day because I told mm. God uh, I need to be sure I'm, I'm making the right decision because working my, with Mama is not easy. Yeah? Oh, it's okay. Easy, yes. uh -huh. At that time, it I'm, I'm not, oh, it's not easy even with most people. Easy, mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. and so I had to pray over it and also I told her Mama would be able to afford me. So oh! Uh -huh. <laughs> She used to tell I me, Mom, you can't <laughs> afford me. You can't afford. She used to tell me like that. You can't afford me. Like, Are you seeing what I'm asking? Yeah. Can you, can but I surprised her. <laughs> ah, you I did? did? Yes. Yeah. Gave her a good salary and so on. Put her. Now, well, she used to travel economy, put her in business class. Mm. And so, I used to yeah. business class. So, Jennifer, hold on. Yeah. <laughs> I surprised her, but I, I gave you a good salary. Yes. yes, I did. So all this time when she's moving from company to company, mm. it still hasn't dawned on you that what she's doing for them, she can bring it home. It, no, but I remember very well when Vidanya was going to do her university. Mm -hmm. um, all her classmates went to Canada, uh, England, US, and so on. And that right. time I just started my business. Uh -huh. I told her, Vidanya cannot take you to the US right now. Yeah. Just go to the US, sir. You when uh, my business does well and i was sure it will do well then i'll take you uh to do a master's in america and you come back and bring that knowledge home mm. yeah so i wanted her to bring it home right yeah okay so she goes she comes she works for me for six months and she decides to take off and you know what i did no i didn't excuse her she still had to take care of uh things that she was supposed to water food I just said no. You decided <laughs> to leave me to go and work for some those multinational. Uh -huh. They gave her almost half of her salary. Uh -huh. I'm not going to take any of your responsibility. Deal with it. Uh -huh. And she dealt with it. The is that the of definition of tough love? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, what is yes. it? Yes. <laughs> All I my go to, and I went for an, um, half the salary. I used to pay. Because I wanted the experience. She just wanted and the, the respect. Experience. And also the respect because she felt that every time she gave me an idea, I'll shoot it down. Every time she told I'll shoot Why it down. Why you? Because, yeah. Yes, because I felt I knew the I business more than her. And she just come from the university I and we have been there it. for so many yeah. years. So what is this girl telling me and so on? Then she took off, yes. But now, now with experience, I oh, got yes, now she the is. Most, uh, the training I got there from the America, class. your master. And, so. um, and my master was able to come back. Home. Right now, I can, I mean, I, we, we, not fight, but in the sense that I'm able to tell her, no, now that's not going to work because of this and this and that. And also, when I, I go can to the boardrooms with mm -hmm. the clients, I can see the clients have respect because of where I'm not just a, a, mm -mm. a model, or can I say a beautiful Yes. And lots of experience. And the experience, yes. you manage so, some of the uh, uh, so leading able brands. Yeah. We're able to win uh, very many accounts because I've been in the client side. So yes. We go there and know what the client is looking for. Exactly. And I tell my mom, mm. if, if I was in FC or Tech, uh, this is the question that I asked. So yeah. we're doing the proposal, I'm actually answering the questions from the clients before they even ask us. Mm. And that's Ooh. how we're doing it. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. We are good team. How we make our Ooh. winning team. What a journey. Yes, what yeah, a journey. Team, yeah. So as we refresh here, please also <laughs> go have your refreshments. We take a very short, quick commercial break. Back in a bit. I went to church and I fought with my God. People told me, you can't do that. I said, no, God, you cannot do this to me. Not my daughter. No, I told God, no, you cannot. Because mm. I used to minister in the church, all this cathedral, okay. seven uh -huh. It meant that we have to wake up early in the morning yes. to go to church. You warm up your voice and so on. Mm -hmm. It also meant that uh, we used to go for choir practices on, on, on Saturday. And I give all that. And then God decides to give my daughter cancer.
Welcome back to the program. You're still on What's Your Story. My name is Catherine Mwangi here with the beautiful ladies. Jennifer Barasa, whom we know as a business magnet, award-winning entrepreneur in this town, and her daughter, who's now, thankfully, after proving herself, <laughs> running Top Image Africa as the managing director. So you even got a title, yes. proper. Mm. Yes. But still, I'm the founder. President. Air group CEO. Okay. Yeah. Chair. Chair. Uh, and uh, and finance, finance director. Chair, founder, group CEO. Uh, all the director. Uh, if I leave money to her, she might just buy herself a Ferrari, you know. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Life, is <short. laughs> Life is for the living, like Life you tell me. Yes. Yeah. 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 She could buy a Ferrari. She could. Uh, she loves good things. So you, yeah. yeah. But I think because she gets that from you, Jennifer. Let's be honest. Yeah. Let's be honest. You think? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, Her I taste for good things, honestly. But not those kind of cars. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Which so, car was I saying I should buy? I what was it? Okay, we can't even. Yeah, okay, you can't thanks. even? Yeah. It's one of those good cars, but it's, it's fine. It's yeah. Fine. But the reason why she's thinking about that is because of me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's still her yeah. vision. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and mom used to be, she's still a warder, mm -hmm. and she used to be a nutamizer. Is that word? Frugal? Frugal, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. And at one time I told her, mom, you, you have to leave. You worked so hard. Yeah. You worked so hard for so many years. <laughs> Love yourself. Treat yourself. Because mm. mm. she would see myself. And I remember she told me when I said modern, I bought what? myself a very expensive <laughs> pair of shoes. Remember you can <laughs> say, yeah. 1995. <laughs> This girl went and bought herself a pair of was it 5,000? USD? No, Kenya shillings those oh, days. Oh, in 1995? 1995? Yeah. Yes. No, no, 1998. It's still a lot of money. 1999. Uh -huh. A shoe of 5,000. I, I was not a... I never, yeah. She never bought herself a shoe. So she, mm. and, and for me, I got it from my modeling salary. I'm like, you know what, I need to... 1999, yes. Myself, right. Uh, a good pair of shoes. Yeah. And uh, she was very shocked. <laughs> So I keep on telling her, Mom, you have to treat yourself. Yes. Is so short. You have to enjoy the blessings from the Lord. Yes, she gives back. She has a foundation called uh, Jennifer Barasa Foundation mm. to educate kids who cannot afford school fees. Oh. But I told her, Mama, you still need to treat yourself. Yes. I have to treat myself on this one. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I treat yeah. myself on this one. But it's because of me, Mama, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> you had to keep, <laughs> you know. And now she's doing it. Yeah, because you see me buying. Even travel. I think it's a waste of money to travel, going to the U.S., going to uh, France, right. Paris. What have you traveling? And yeah. I was doing for a, for a, as, a, as a job as yeah. a consultant. Yeah. Uh, I didn't think I should spend that Not kind holiday. of money. Not holiday. Yeah, on holiday. Mm -hmm. But what? I take my holiday. Uh -huh. Yeah, she like does. And you do some together as well. Because of me now, she wants to do those holidays. Yes. Now we plan holidays. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, but she makes yeah. me buy expensive things. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer, well, even mm. after God has blessed you so tremendously, <laughs> yeah. and you're still the financial director, yes. eh, your money is not getting lost. No one will lose that no. money. No, but, eh, but you but still feel... Who are you? Who are you? Hey, she's very expensive. <laughs> but I know where she gets it from. So from but, you? Uh, Oh, I don't the think apple so. did not fall yes. far from the tree. Eh, eh, but no. <laughs> anyway. anyway, I yes. love it. Yeah. Okay. So mm. CEO, chairman, mm. chair lady, chairman, founder, founder. Don't forget founder. I cannot forget that yeah. company was founded by Jennifer Barasa. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> eh? yes. Legendary woman <laughs> entrepreneur in this town. I mean, Jennifer, you respect. I don't think you realize how respected you are. How highly respected you are. Maybe. Maybe, I don't, I don't know, maybe you have people who tell you, uh, maybe you have people who don't. Again, you know how it is in business, it's mm -hmm. cutthroat, not everyone will give you a compliment or a commendation, yeah. but you, even if they don't tell you, <laughs> if I had a hat, I would be removing it. Thank you. You're highly respected. Thank and you. I think it comes with, you had to be, like you said, based on where you were raised up, you, you had to have that grit and uh, no give up attitude and spirit mm. Mm. to get to what you want to get to where you wanted to be mm. you know and see and see yourself now so now your daughter is running this empire like what you said before in part one 
that you know why can't I come we run this um, it's an empire that you've built an empire mm. like are you in rest mode or is it still faster faster <laughs> you still wake up and you no, want to kill I'm someone now on semi retirement okay and um, <laughs> and why I'm also I'm in uh, semi retirement yeah. because um, I was messed up by a doctor on my back okay. for 2017 mm -hmm. so that has slowed me a bit but um, I'm now coming back. Okay. I'm coming back, but right. I'm on semi-retirement. Right. But I thank God, Bidania is doing very well. Mm. Yeah, she, she, she's taken the company to the next level. And uh, there are times I used to catch feelings because mm -hmm. nobody was calling me yeah. to, to so on. Yeah, because oh, now, now I don't know what's up. To, mm, the no. clients will not call me anymore. They and still it, don't call her anymore. anymore. <laughs> but at first, then I would tell her, "Are you sure they just don't want to talk to an?" a beautiful looking girl than talking to an old mama <laughs> like this one who's so tough and yes. so on. <laughs> right. They don't call me anymore, uh -huh. but I, I operate behind the scenes. I operate mm. behind the scenes. I remember when I had my first operation in 2017 mm -hmm. and I was at home for some time. Yeah. Because the back problem, you have to be on your back yes. and so blah, blah, blah. And Bidania told me, oh, mom, we're not going to pay you. We are just paying you for nothing. I told her, okay, fine. But you're always calling me consultancy. Yes. Consultants are very expensive. Yes. I'm going to send you my yes. bin. And, and, uh, okay, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll pay you a salary. Because consultants are very expensive. Very, yeah. And uh, I've been a consultant yeah. in the World Bank when it comes to mobile money. Mm. So I told her, okay. Mm. And you keep on calling, Mom, why do you do this? Why do you do this? Okay, I'm going to give you a bill for yeah. consultants. Yeah. So I like okay. that you didn't go fully independent. Like you still uh, valued her input and yes. contribution in the yes. business yeah especially her wisdom i mean she's been there and it's always it helps me and i was even thinking about it this morning like before coming to the show mm -hmm. and just saying i'm super blessed because um i'm an md who has someone i can call immediately she's available 24 7 if i have an issue happening in the company if i have an issue happening with the client if i have issues regarding finances i have someone who has my back, mm. who has my support, and I can call for advice. Mm. So whenever we're making a decision, just not me making the decision, but us making a decision. Yes. And I think that really puts me in a very, very blessed and favor. And, and I really Absolutely. appreciate that. And just having Mama there as, as that. Absolutely. And she's very supportive yes. and understanding. I mean, even now she has some ideas, she throws over to me with this class, I do the same. So is that all... all um, you know, inclusion. inclusion, we are talking and, and I think cooperation. That really helps mm -hmm. in terms of running the business because mm -hmm. it's tough running a company. Yeah. And we have over 2,800 employees. I was going to ask that. Africa. So it, it becomes Wait, tough. Wait, 2,800? Yes. Is it 20? I thought it was 4,000. Well, yes. The numbers have gone down. The, the permanent ones. Now yeah. When you add the same <coughs> permanent ones, we have about, about 4,000. 4, yeah. Around Africa. So that that is huge. You know, that's a big responsibility. And, and so it can be very stressful, but you know, having her there as my anchor is really, really helpful. Hey, does what, you, what does it take to t get a job there? <laughs> <laughs> you can take care of South Africa for you. Yeah, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I am totally sending that to me. So, South Africa is doing very well. We have 350 employees there. My yeah, goodness. Mm, yeah, doing mobile money. Mm, yeah. Grateful, yeah. Because the Trump organization, as at the last, when he was saying goodbye as, as president, the Trump organization had 5,500 workers. Mm. And that's just in America alone. Yeah. Mm. So when I hear numbers like 4,000, I equate it to that. Yeah. Mm. And yeah. this is being ran by, you know, him, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. First, this lady, okay, who raised you up yeah. by herself, yeah. building this conglomerate. Yeah. And then now her daughter is overseeing operations, 4,000 mm. plus. Man, you guys. So when I asked you before your secret to looking there, you, do, you don't look a year. Yes. <coughs> close to even 50. Yes. Lord have mercy. Yes. <laughs> and you said, you just get on your knees and pray and get out. Or get, get back out. And Every I'm like, morning you need to, to touch base with your maker God. You know, that's the first thing I do. I pray, I kneel down, I pray to God. And uh, Bidenia has done quite a lot, juicing. She's convinced me to do a lot uh, of juicing, uh, drink a lot of... I had to buy her juices. I had to go buy her juices, bring it home, home. Mm. Mm. teach the, the girls in the house to make it for her. Mm. You know, but it's, it's, and also it's drinking water. Amazing. She keeps on telling me, Mom, drink water, I drink water. And then exercising. Yeah. Now I'm doing a lot of exercising. Yeah. I, I'm very fit right now. Mama used yeah. to use soap 
Yes. Yes, you know, any soap. You know, any soap that like, that's what she's using to uh-huh. 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 You don't know what you're doing. So we go and tell her, ma'am, this is what you buy. I buy for her. I bring it and I tell her this. You use it twice a day or twice a week. There's the scrub, everything. So and sometimes she asks, have you cleaned your, or have you cleaned your face <laughs> at night? Have you, have you cleaned your face? Plus those things, what are thrown us? I'm I don't know what they want. Have you? Essence, so even I her do. eyes, she used to put the same product on her face for her eyes. I say, no, mama, there has to be a separate product for your eye area because it's delicate. So I show her. She's like, it's so expensive. <laughs> Just for the eyes, I'm like, mm-hmm. Jennifer, you're spoiled. <laughs> yes, she's, she buys for me. Those ones, indeed, she does. And she asked me, you know, for me, I used to put on makeup powder. And if I'm tired at night, I just sleep. How do you sleep with your makeup powder? <laughs> I get so angry. I lecture her. She tells me, stop lecturing me. But I do lecture her. She does like to be myself. Mm. Mama, you can't hold me. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. 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 I see. You sometimes I wonder where I got you from because you don't, <laughs> you are not like me. We are more positive. I'm off. I'm structured, everything done in a good way. I'm yeah. Stored. For me, uh-huh. you know, me having come from uh, Islando, uh-huh. I'm a proud girl from Islam. Yes. 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 Yeah. Mm. Man, there's a lot to be proud of where mm. you're concerned. Mm. So, what what is a place of spirituality uh, for both of you? I, I keep hearing you say words like blessed, we are favored, mm. uh, we pray. What? Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. My grandmother was a church going person, mm-hmm. and so was my mother. Mm-hmm. And I started going to church at a very early age. I sang at um, St. Stephen's Choir with, with George Zanukazake. We sang even the national anthem. I didn't know it was that with Graham Hislop. Mm-hmm. And uh, that brought me to my spirituality very close to God and I'm very, very prayerful. Now, even when I started Top Image, I fasted for 40 days. So it's based on the anchor of Jesus Christ and that's why. And even when we used to go, I take Vidanya to school every morning, we used to have the Lord's Prayer. My mother taught me about the Lord's Prayer, the most powerful prayer that anyone can use. And we'd be praying that. And I remember when I started my business, 1995, I used to say, where will I be in 2020? No, 2000, because mm. it was 1995. And we'll pray the Lost Prayer with Bidanya in the car every morning. Every morning and so, on. so I pray morning, evening, any time, have a minute, I pray. Yeah. And God has done quite a lot for, for me. For you. And, and that's why the company has grown to, uh, exponentially. exponentially. Yeah. yeah, because yeah. of that. It's best on... The, yeah, we are protected with the blood of Jesus Christ. Mm. Yes, yeah. Mm, yeah. Praise mm-hmm. God, mm-hmm. my God. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you, you took a 21-day prayer and fasting to, when it came to you deciding yes. uh, to come to around the empire. empire yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And, and you yes. took 40 days prayer and mm-hmm. fasting mm-hmm. to create mm-hmm. the empire. Yes, yes yeah. <laughs> and also <laughs> remember when Bidanya had the scare of the colon cancer. We are coming there. We really prayed. I went to church and I fought with my God. People told me, you can't do that. I said, no, God, you cannot do this to me. Not my daughter. No, I told God, no, you cannot. Because mm. I used to minister in the church, all this cathedral, okay. 7 a.m. Uh, choir. Uh-huh. It meant that we have to wake up early in the morning yeah. to go to church. You warm up your voice and so on. Mm-hmm. It also meant that uh, we used to go for choir practices on, on, on Saturday. It meant now I stopped going to do my kanyuaji with my girlfriends on Friday <laughs> because I have to be ready to go to church. And I give all that. And then God decides to give my daughter cancer. I told him, no, I went to church and I cried. And worship minister told the guys, people told Jennifer, don't talk like that. They told, no, no, let her talk to God. I told, God, honestly, God, I serve you and you are serving God and so on. You can't do that to me. You cannot take my only child away. And we prayed. And look at her. Mm. God listened to my prayers. You look better than you did before. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like and her hair never fell off or nothing. No. Yeah. Tell them your story, also Please. your prayers, and you are packed with God too. Yes. 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 Mm. Yeah. She had a pact with God. Yeah. To yeah. Talk about I mean, it. When it happened to me, um, I keep on saying I was. I, I felt that my life was too perfect. Mm. And I remember I was driving to Central Park, and I was like, God, I won't be surprised if this is cancer because I was going through the tummy problems. We went through so many tests. I did my X-ray, my ultrasound, my CT scan. And uh, at that time, and I love telling people my symptoms because I think it's so 
Yes, yes, please. So I had blood in my stool, and uh -huh. I'm like, this is not normal. And it kept on happening. I go medicate, it's still happening, and I'm still having tummy aches. And I said, this is not normal. My body said, is there something wrong? Right. So we did the test. So I was going to, for my final test, that was my colonoscopy. Mm -hmm. And I remember driving to the office, and I'm like, God, I will be surprised if this is something big, because my life is too perfect. Mm. I mean, I was at the career path that I wanted. Yes. I had the perfect boyfriend at that time. Work was going well. Mm. You know, things were aligned. And I'm like, maybe God wants to say to me, maybe this is not the path I need to go through. So after my colonoscopy, the doctor tells me immediately that, uh, do you want the good news or the bad news? I said, okay, let's start with the good news. It's like the good news, you don't have stomach cancer, but the bad news, over my dead body, you have colon cancer. And he tells me over my dead body. So it was mm -hmm. not like maybe, maybe not. And uh, so, yeah, that was quite a scare. Uh, I had to do through, I had to do my chemotherapy for 12 months, which I refused. Then mama asked me, do you want to die? You have to do chemotherapy. Oh, she had you refused. Know, that was after my surgery, mm -hmm. uh, where that removed part of my colon. Okay. But I still need to do through chemotherapy. Right. And you know how chemotherapy, we hear about your chemotherapy, it can kill you. And yeah. You, just, you, you can't work, you can't do anything. Yeah. So when mama, when I refused, and mama told me, do you want to die? I'm like, no, I have so much I need to do in this world. I'm not even there yet. So of course I don't want to die. So I made a pact with God that night, and I, I told him that I do, uh, there's a reason why you allowed this to happen. I know it's not uh, permanent, it's temporary. But during this time, I ask you, this is our path, but I'm going through this. But let's agree on certain things. Okay. I won't fall sick because I know with chemotherapy, people are bad reading, they can't do much. My hair will fall off. For some reason, I was concerned about my hair before I used to mistreat it. <laughs> but this time, I'm like, my hair won't fall off. I'll still go out with my friends because I love dancing, I love eating out. I'll still go to work. This is not going to affect my work. And this is not going to affect me, and I'm going to travel. So that's a path we have. Mm -hmm. And by God's grace, he answered all that. My, my hair did not fall off. After my treatment, yes, I'll be down for four days. Then afterwards, I'm back to the office. I'm back asking my friends, oh, guys, I'm craving this. Where can we go? I'm going out dancing. I used to travel. At one time, I went to Sudan. I think my uncle would just thought I was crazy. But I'd ask yeah. her, I'm going to Sudan, is that okay? I'll be traveling, I'm going to South Africa. I said, it's okay, just be careful. Make sure you're taking your immunity supplements right. so that your immunity is not affected. And try to rest as much as you can. And uh, I remember even my boss at that time at Tetra Park was like, oh, Bidania, you don't have to be coming to the office. You can be working from home. Mm. You can also make sure your internet at home is sorted. I said, no, I'll be coming to the office. Yes. So I'd go to the office for a period of three weeks and then take a rest for four days because I have to do my chemo. And I used to call it my cocktail. Yeah, so in the okay. office, I'll tell guys, guys, I'll see you after five days, I'm going for my cocktail. So I made mm. it not seem like it's, it's a death sentence. Death sentence, yeah, yes. Correct. And already I told God, this is little C. You and me, we're bigger than this. We're going to fight it. I need your help. I can't do it myself. Mm -mm. I need your help to go through this. Mm. And he listened, and he was, I mean, I keep on saying, um, I'm blessed just to have him during that time in my life. Yeah. And uh, going through chemo, it's not the easiest thing. I wouldn't want even that on my enemy, because it makes you sick. You always know after three weeks you're going to fall sick, uh, and how you're going to feel. You okay. Know? It's not where you, you, you fall sick, and you're like, yeah, this, I'm not feeling well. Yeah, you know, you're going to lose your appetite, you're going to be weak. You want to, you feel like throwing up all the time mm. and it's very hard just to swallow food and also do everything. Oh. So already I knew up to every three weeks and I did this for 12 sessions for a period of eight months. But during that time I was very prayerful. We prayed. Psalms was uh, the verse that I used to go to the Bible because it's very positive. Yes. Mama prayed a lot. You know, but I was so strong for her. Jeremiah have the time to be praying to me. I know the plans I have for you. Plan. Yeah. Mm. So half the time she'll be crying. I'm like, Mommy, look ugly when you're crying. Why yes, she crying? tell me like that. Said, look at you. Like, Stop crying. Because I'm not crying. I need right. to be strong. Yeah. But she said afterwards she'd go and, and cry and not 
and yeah. not show me that she's actually very uh, mm. sad. Uh, mm. yeah, you know, people need to talk about the caregivers because uh, when you have uh, uh, somebody very sick, caregivers go through a difficult time, and that's okay. parents or sisters or brother and so on. Yeah. We go the, through the same pain. Yeah. yeah but it was very painful. Yeah. But she goes through that pain and also going through it. It's so, true. Yeah, it's it's true. Painful, yeah. A caregiver. So I'm my only age. child. My yes. It's my only child. So it's been 12 years by the grace of God. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. God has been gracious. Been mm. So from that on, I said I needed to take control of my health. Right. We don't know why the cancer came, but whatever yeah. the reason, I'm not giving it a chance to come back. No. So juicing is part of my lifestyle. Okay. Working out is part of my lifestyle. Being in a positive mindset always is part of my lifestyle. Not allowing any negativity in my Around space you. is also mm. my lifestyle. Praying, yes. eating, right. giving back, eating back. So I do have a, a wellness video that I do once a month. Okay. Can, just to talk about living healthy because mm. I think it's important. We have the power to kill cancer cells in our body, but it's how we eat, what we hear, mm. what we consume that can affect us. Yes. yes. And I also um, read about your mentoring class. Could you yes, speak to that? Yes. yes. I have a mentorship program called Bidanya Lead Club. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it launched, I think, two years and a half ago. Okay. During COVID, it went down slightly because we couldn't meet the girls. But now we are actually doing it very well. And I have my, my PA who is really assisting me, mm -hmm. uh, Anne. She's also here yes. supporting me um, on this. Yeah. And uh, but it's 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 amazing what girls are going through, the young girls, and they don't have anyone to talk to. They're scared of talking to their parents. They're scared, they're scared of talking to their friends because they have to put up front. But they're going through a lot and they need direction. I've been there and I'm happy to give that direction, mm. to give someone to listen to, to guide. Yes. There are many girls that have been able to get jobs through our help as Bidania Lead Club. Wow. We help them with their CVs, we help them with doing their interview sessions. Yeah. Just to build their confidence and to tell them, guys, ladies, keep on dreaming and you can achieve your dreams. You know, let no one tell you that you can have a stupid dream, but you need people to help you with yes. the right surrounding the right circle. Yes. And, and as Bidania Lead Club, it's I love it. Yeah. I love it. So as we wind up, I, I have a feeling we'll get you back, but as individuals, just to milk your story properly. But as as we wind up, as we wind up, I think I need I need for you, Jennifer, first to speak to, um, you know, like this. What you have with your daughter is very unique, eh, and very different. I know lots of girls especially who do not have good relationships with their parents for whatever reason especially mm. their mothers mm. and and that's why you find um many you know many making the wrong decisions because there's a wound you know, there's, yeah. there's a wound in their spirit mm. and that's because there's a mother somewhere with whom their relationship is scarred um what who would you be speaking to the mother or the daughter in in your final words to them that is your camera oh I think the mother, because okay. the mother plays a big role. For Bidanya and I, I opened up communication um, as early as she was very young. I'll talk to her, I'll tell her my plans. For example, when I was leaving to start business, I even discussed with her and I told her, Bidanya I might not be able to take you to the US or Canada or, or, or wherever or for your air levels. But when I do, and I know my business will grow, I'll take you there. So I talked to her. Then I took her to church at a very early stage, mm. had a relationship with her. But that does not mean that uh, I did not. And at one time, I also, I do not spare a road. Yes. Yeah, but in a good way. Yes. And I'll tell her, why am I beating you up? Why, 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 why am I, you remember the story? Discipline. Disciplining you. Yes. It's because you made a mistake. Because when you go out in the world, you love to be disciplined. So I want you, if I'm not there, you should be able to be independent and be on your own. And in fact, these days, uh, she's so independent, sometimes I complain and she tells me, but mom, <laughs> you're the one who taught me to be independent. Yes. Because I tell, I'm, 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 I'm beating you yes. for the following reason, because mm -hmm. you did this, did this. But that mm -hmm. does not mean I don't love you. Yeah. So I, I discussed with her and also that prayers and mm. what's also there. So the mother first, it's, it's how you develop your relationship with your child, how yes. you bring them right from the beginning. 
you don't wait when they are now about 18 to, that's now when you want to give them directions no start at an early stage tell yes. them this is life this is what happens be open with yes. them mm, yeah I don't want to say that we have been friends all the time with Bidanya. there are times we are not talking because yes I yes yeah so we were not like talking. It. I did like her boyfriend at that time. And oh, we, uh, we together. Uh, it was bad. It was bad. We'll use the same car, but we are not talking. And so, but okay. afterwards, we reasoned and we talked. And um, yeah, yeah, we, you are. We, we repaired the relationship. Sisters. Now, we, now we are sisters, yeah. girlfriend, girlfriend. Yes, girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. I love to see it. Yes. <laughs> I love to see it. I love to see it. This life, I mean, we're only here. A very short time, and I keep on saying we can't rehearse. You know, you gotta live your life to the fullest. You have to know what are your dreams, what are your passions, what are your visions, and go for them. Uh, you might think it's easy to say that, but I believe in this world we have a right to achieve our dreams and our desires, but we have to work hard for it. It doesn't come easy, you know. You have to pray, you have to get the right click, the right friends to support. You have to seek help if you need. Yeah. You know, you have to have a shoulder that you can cry on. Also talk to because mm -hmm. you need that anchor, you need that support. And be a good person. Try to be a great person. Because yeah. in this world, we have many people who want to take advantage of many other people. And, you know, they're not good at that. So also yeah. try to be your best version that you can. Mm. And also be authentic. Mm. Don't be a cop. Because you're unique for a reason. You're a masterpiece for this bit for a reason. And God brought you in this time for that reason. So find your purpose. Go for it. Live life. Because life is for the good. Enjoy where yes, you can. and I'm Every writing week. my book. Uh -huh. I'm 70. I'm writing my book. So people want to know my story more. Yes. My entrepreneurship, yes. how I, I grew up and so on. Yes. They read that in, this, in, the, in, the, in the book. It's coming out this year? Yeah, it's coming out this year. Wonderful. Yeah. We yeah. look forward to it. Thank you. Please, we look forward to that book. Yeah. Yes. The book we must coming. read that book. Yes. Oh, Bidanya has been hustling. Mom, write the book. And not only Bidanya. Many, Many of my people. friends, even the industry, even write a book. Short, short, mm. uh, write a book. Write them. Excerpts. Yes, exactly. Yes. yes. Share either on LinkedIn or social media. There's so much. There's so much knowledge that she can share. Yeah. But I guess now we just have to get her out of the office. <laughs> the retirement to be more of the same retirement so she can focus on this. <laughs> I know if, if, if she starts her direction, we're not going to say goodbye. And we no, need yes, to say goodbye. goodbye yes. <laughs> the end of the show. It was wonderful. Thank you for thank having you for us. Thank you, thank thank you for so having much. Us. So much fun. Fun. And yeah. thank you for the juice. And, uh, Bidanya, and Bidanya believes in that. Oh, the juicing you. Yes. Yeah, the juicing addict. The <laughs> juicing princess or Thank queen. You. Juicing queen. We appreciate your time. Uh, this thanks is so much so for good. having us. Thank you. And to you watching, thank you so much for making time. The show now goes up on YouTube and also I repeat this coming Tuesday at 11 p.m. Stay well, stay safe. God bless you. Mm. Yeah.